we have this slogan that says Pedro will take naked the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, it's another beautiful episode of your favorite program, Paul in the Diary. I am your host, Chi Awalamoke. In our last episode, if you recall, we unveiled some of the outstanding landmark achievements of our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, on assumption of office as the eighth substantive and first alumnus rector of this great citadel of learning. And today, Things are changed for better as tremendous improvements have taken place, courtesy of the unbeatable measures put in place by our rector to ensure global service operational systems, infrastructural development, and proper welfare of staff and students. Now, relax and enjoy these mind blowing projects and achievements. On the 18th day of June 2019, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, signed into law the new Polytechnic Act. Upon the signing into law of this act, Director Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa became one of the first directors to inaugurate the congregation as one of the items stipulated in the act. When we are in the process of constituting the body that will be called the selection board as required by the Polytechnic Act. The amended act requires that three people from congregation will be part of the selection board. The selection board will include the chairman of the council, the rector of the Polytechnic. Uh, two members of academic board who are not members of council and three members of congregation. So we are want to use this forum to get the three members from congregation. In his usual attributes to always taking the lead in preferring solutions, rules are to the expectation by bringing out measures to protecting lives during the COVID-19 pandemic. The rector's first approach was setting up a COVID-19 response committee. This committee was made up of engineers and scientists from the schools of engineering and applied sciences respectively. The committee was charged with the responsibility of responding to all positive measures to contain the COVID-19 disease. And this team was hence headed by Mr. Anderson Ezeibe. In furtherance to covering the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic, the director, through the COVID-19 response team, came up with a mind-blowing innovation by designing and fabricating semi-automated and automated hand-washing devices that were positioned in places in the institution. These semi-automated and automated hand-washing devices were launched by Director Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa on the 30th of April 2020. I'm glad to be here again two weeks after our first uh, presentation to present two powerful machines. Um, during the first presentation, as you have heard, uh, that one was basically manual. Anybody who wanted to wash their hands needed to come physically and open the faucet. But this time, because of uh, the knowledge that this virus is transmitted by touch, we thought about it. What if somebody already is carrying the virus and then he comes to turn the faucet on and he washes his hand and leaves? He would have deposited the virus there. And uh, we thought of other ways of doing the same thing without touching anything. And we came up with these two ideas. One is federal operated. You need soap. If you need soap, there is a pedal for soap. They have indicated that. You need water. There is a pedal for water. 
you need sanitizer, there's a feather for sanitizer. So you don't touch anything. That one is automatic. This one is semi-automatic. And that is where we, uh, we have come to present them. We need to continue to show that we are indeed the first and the best. These things can, can serve very good purposes in hotels, in other public places. This one is uh, solar powered. So it doesn't require physical electricity. You can see the solar panel on top. So it's solar powered and it is able to do the same thing that this will do, except that it is more automatic than this. So again, I want to congratulate the response team, congratulate members of management, congratulate all of us for being part of this presentation. Having made the presentation, the director called on the pressmen present at the occasion to test the functionality of the hand washing devices. This is water. During the peak of the heat of the COVID-19 pandemic, the rector extended his support and solidarity to the Imo State Government through His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, by donating hand sanitizers, hand washes, semi-automated and automated hand washing machines, equally designed and fabricated by the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri. The Executive Governor of Imo State, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Hope Uzadema, commended the rector and the institution for such creativity and innovation. He further encouraged the rector to maintain and sustain the greater heights for which the Federal Polytechnic Naked Awari is known for. But I want to commend you for your kind gesture, for remembering that you have to partner with us to address this global problem. Uh, you are one school, like we have already mentioned in your address, that people of Imo State are very proud of. The negative polytechnic is almost, if not, the best and brightest in the country. So we feel very proud of you and continue to support you in our little way, in areas that will make you stronger, in areas that, area that will make you excel the more. So we, I want to be able to government and people of Imo State to receive the gift and their contribution towards fighting this deadly monster, coronavirus. And also on their behalf, thank you for the things you've done, not only in training and providing various skills and talents for the new states, but indeed the entire country, Nigeria. We are here to do things differently. We are here to show that the people of Imo are not poor, that we can get a good program at the cost. That is the principal reason why we are here. To do things differently, to ensure that the limited resources available to Imo State is managed and provide the necessary needs and priorities of the people. And we pray that God willing, we are not going to disappoint. So I want to thank the director and also to encourage you. Because you see, it helps little or nothing to know who is performing or who is not performing. And the assembly of the caliber and the caliber of men and women that you can have as your team. And the almost complete acceptance I've seen among them and the excitement and reactions during the course of the reading year. It is very clear that we are doing well. I want to challenge you as a school to go beyond the producing what you have done and the sanitizers, to produce also things like uh, personal protection equipment, PPP. You will produce the letters. Produce monitors. There is nothing rocket about you know this uh, 
technologies. And with what they have demonstrated, I think you can advance that if you are correct. So let us start now. And then I realize that we can do better than that. Yeah. God knows whatever we can do to support our health. I will encourage my people that we should do so. In this uh, period of COVID-19, I think that uh, we need also to encourage you by helping in marketing this equipment that has been produced. So we we'll sit down with you and see how best we can put these things in strategic uh, locations in the I urge you to produce more, which we will pay for, so that we can improve our program for good hygiene in the through installing this washing uh, equipment at the strategic uh, places. So the rector, I can't thank you enough. Just the rest are sure that you have us here. And anything you think, anything you think that we can do, don't fail to let us know. We will definitely go to do everything we can within our bridge to encourage the school and also help you to, to continue to excel. Other sectors weren't left behind as the commandant of the Civil Defense Corps, Imo State Command, Elisha Danjuma, visited the Federal Polytechnic Negede to have a first-hand information of this great innovation. Our rector, in his move to ensuring a standard conducive learning environment, has succeeded in completing all ongoing pending building projects that were on ground before his assumption of office. Dr. Engineer Michael is a careful man, a committed man, and he because he's interested in details, he doesn't he doesn't want any aspect of the polytechnic to look haggard. He didn't want uncompleted projects. You know, there is this uh, fad in most of our environment. You see uncompleted buildings, you see uncompleted projects of past administrations of certain organizations. But is, he is quite different from others. He gave his all. He made sure that he completed those projects so that when you come into the polytechnic, it will look beautiful. It will look very clean. It will lo not look tattered. You know, we, we have this slogan that says, Federal Polytechnic Naked Elites, others follow if they can. And uh, you know, he is, uh, we call him an uh, internally generated director. So he has this soft spot for Federal Polytechnic Naked. But I, because he passed through this institution as a student and he knew what students need. He also has been going through the institution as a staff. And as a staff, he knew also what everybody needed. And uh, he grew in Nigeria. So he knows exactly what the Nigerian society wants. So on that note, he decided to ensure that he would complete those uh, projects. Then he is also carrying on with his fresh projects in his own tenor. So he is really doing well. He's balancing everything. In his fervent capacity, our ever-vibrant rector has also done justice to most projects started by his very administration, as 100% of them are almost near completion. Administration is a continuum. It does not make sense to come in and abandon what has been there and start something completely new, abandoning what the progress that has been made in the past. It is only intelligent and wise for an individual to leverage on what, uh, what he met on ground and then build on it. So what we have done is to complete existing projects and then start new ones. And many of those new ones are also nearing completion. The institution has infrastructure deficits and um, we are making effort to see how much we can, uh, what we can do to bridge the gap uh, infrastructure like uh, hostels, students' hostels, uh, classroom complexes, st staff offices are in their need. And we are making effort um, contacting the relevant agencies of government to assist us in providing funds for the construction of this infrastructure. Among these building projects are the following. 
the completion and handover of the Complex D of the School of Business and Management Technology, SBMT. The completion and handover of School of Environmental Design and Technology, SEDT. The completion for the Office Complex for Agricultural Technology in the School of Industrial and Applied Sciences, SIAS. The completion of the Classroom Complex for the School of Engineering Technology, SET. The construction of the Office Blocks for the School of Engineering Technology, SET. The construction of the Classroom Complex for the School of Environmental Design and Technology, SEDT. The construction of the Classroom Complex for the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, SHSS. Other major projects include the upgrading of the ICT facilities and the provision of classroom furniture. Some of these were achieved through the intervention of the Tertiary Education Fund, TED Fund. Truly, our digital rector, Dr. Engineer Michael Arimanwa, has been building, if you look around the entire campus, you see new buildings springing up. Almost every day, we are connected to third fund. There are third fund sponsored buildings. There are internal generated uh, sponsored buildings and a host of other buildings from various arms. So you will see that this, the aim of this management is to make sure that our students are comfortable in the classrooms. Director also embarks on the reconstruction of roads inside and outside the institution. The dilapidated entrance posed a great challenge to both staff, students and the host communities therein. Having seen the bitter experiences caused by the dilapidated roads, the director rose up to the occasion by seeking the intervention to aid in the construction of a standard dual carriage road for all to utilize. Also completed were all the ongoing internal road projects started by his predecessors and newly constructed ones by his administration. In maintaining corporate social responsibilities, the director, in conjunction with the governing council of the institution, donated wheelchairs to two retired staff members who have been bedridden over a long period of time. The Nigerian Police Commission, Nekede Ihiagwa Division, received hand sanitizers made in the Federal Polytechnic, Nekede Oweri, and a brand new all-in-one desktop computer as a way to encourage the police force in their efforts to rid the society of crimes. In extension of these corporate social responsibilities, the rector donated five motorbikes to the host community vigilante heads. This gesture of our rector was aimed at aiding the community's security outfits to ease the challenges posed by lack of mobility during emergencies. The director also donated six mowing machines to five faculties in the Division of Student Affairs as a way to encourage and maintain cleanliness in the institution. In the same vein, the director gave three all-in-one HP desktop computers to the staff multipurpose cooperatives. The Thrift and Loan Society of the Federal Polytechnic Nekedo Wari, as they are popularly known. By way of encouraging diligence and hard work, the director and the governing council of the institution gave five tricycles to five most senior drivers of the institution to appreciate and support them in their drive to growth. This great gesture as said by the management, will be done regularly to boost efficient service delivery among the drivers. We have made moves and uh, to encourage our staff to continue to work hard. The director and his management team paid a courtesy visit to the traditional ruler of the host community, Eze Godwin Marinini, DBA1, and donated 20 bags of rice as palliative to cushion the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic in the community. <laughs> Amen. 
The People's Rector, also known as the smartest rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, whose unbeatable achievements through character and skill for service to humanity are undisputable. Within just a period of two years as the rector of the Federal Polytechnic, he has earned a lot of recognition that are very well deserved, among which are the Pan-African Distinguished Leadership Award as icon of nation building in Nigeria, an award from the African Student Union Parliament, the prestigious Igbo Heritage Award given to him as the 2019 Rector of the Year on his outstanding achievements on human capital development, the Forum of Imo State-Based Editors of Newspapers also awarded the Rector an academic star for his great contributions towards the development of education in Nigeria. The highest award of honor to the Imbitolu illustrious sons was also presented to the Rector by his kinsmen as he was awarded the prestigious award of Imbitolu's great son. Due to the Rector's outstanding dedication and fight against COVID-19 pandemic, the Emo Rehabilitation Ambassadors presented an award to the Rector alongside a certificate of recognition. The Rector was also honored by the Old Boys Association of his alma mater, being the Government College Oweri, with an award of excellence. The Nigerian Society of Engineers, Emo State Chapter, awarded him for his numerous contributions in engineering educational practices and development in Nigeria. The Nigerian Society of Engineers is even lucky that the first award we are doing is here in OEC and to be done by the 14th Chairman of Nigerian Society of Engineers, the lucky man. Well, this award is presented to engineers if I may put the wife, another engineer, <laughs> that one they skipped it, but um, I've added it, have it in spirit. Reverend Dr. Michael C. Adimawa, member of the Nigerian Charter of Engineers, comma, in quote, to be given fellow of the Nigerian Charter of Engineers. <laughs> in recognition of his outstanding performance and numerous contributions to engineering education, good practice and development in Nigeria. Congratulations, we are just awarded you today. The 1st of February 2019. Thank you. That's our man for you. Our record. His Excellence knows no bounds and barriers. The administrative achievements of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremangwa was recognized by the Northern Youth Council of Nigeria and the Oduduwa Youth Parliament, OYP. The mother of all awards was the investiture of the fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, which is the apex cadre of engineering profession. The conferees are here today with their spouses, some are watching us online. Today, in the greatest day in their journey through the engineering profession. I commend their efforts to arrive at the highest level of professional recognition in Nigeria. The process of becoming a fellow, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers is tedious. The board screens the document properly. What have you achieved in the engineering profession? How many people have you mentored? What are the ethical uh, things you do to promote engineers? So today, we have 57 distinguished engineers, Mr. President, to confer with the Fellowship of Nigerian Society of Engineers. It is always our belief that they become your ambassador. They become anywhere they are, they shine a light for the engineering profession. <laughs>
Wow, what a remarkable way of creating history in the Pauline Dekede Diary as one of the outstanding rectors of this great citadel of learning. And to you, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, writing your name in the sands of time is a choice. And you have made a good one. Keep the flag flying. See you in our subsequent episodes. I remain Chi Awalamoke.